What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract audio from a video clip inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's head down here in the timeline. You notice I have this video here of the uh, Jeep going through the uh, trail and I have a little audio attached to it. So you notice if I just grab the typical selection tool and I move it, the audio goes with it. Or if I grab the audio, the video goes with it. So there's a couple ways to do it. One of the main ways to do it is as long as the clip is highlighted, head up here right underneath the time code. You're going to see this button right here called link selection. So right now you're seeing it highlighted blue, which means it's active. So the linked selection is active. So it's connecting the two. If you unclick that, head back down here and just grab the video. You can move it and or grab the audio and move it. You can also, as long as it's highlighted, just click delete and you can delete it. I'm going to undo that and bring that back together. That's another thing you notice too. If you do slide the audio or remove it, you're going to see this where it's saying it's minus 13 or plus 13. That's letting you know how many frames that the audio is off compared to the video. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to relink it. Let me highlight these. Now the shortcut that I use all the time is I hold down option on a Mac or if you're using a PC, hold down alt. So I'm holding an option now. If I just click on the audio alone, it'll highlight that and let you know that's active. So then if you want to delete it, you can just delete it. And or if you do that and you want to move it, before you move it, let go of the option. Then you can just move it and you can drag it however you like, wherever you like. Now, if you don't release the option button before you move it, if I move this when I'm still holding down the option button and let go, it's going to duplicate it. So that's a different keyboard shortcut. So if you're wanting just to move it and separate it, just hold down the option or the alt just until you see the white highlighted and then let go of the button, then you can move it around freely and it's not going to duplicate it. And then you can just delete it if you like, then you're good to go. Anyway, I hope that short, simple tip was helpful. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel because I'm always creating new content. That being said, have a great day. Later.